Hey guys, Dalt here. In today's video, we will be covering some obscure and not well-known anime. But before we start this wishful list, can you do me a solid and subscribe now? Because only 10% of people who watch my videos are subscribed to me, and we both know you'll totally forget to do it later. Also, liking the video would be much appreciated. We kickstart this list with Elegant Yokai Apartment Life with 26 episodes aired on July 2017 and available only in subbed. When his new high school's dormitory burns down, Yushi Inaba is left scrambling to find housing that a 16-year-old orphan can afford. The only place he finds is an old apartment building called Kotobukiso, where the rent is cheap and the building is... haunted? A ghostly boy wanders the halls with his dog. The cook is completely invisible except for her hands, and the landlord is a giant yokai, who doesn't like it when the rent is late. The unfazed human residents live right alongside their unearthly neighbors, and now that Yushi has joined their community, his life is about to get much stranger. Coming in second place, we have Shonen Maid, with 12 episodes. Aired on April 2016, available on both sub and dub. After the loss of his mother, Chihiro is left alone. With no known family left, he has to find a way to move on. Things aren't looking good until a chance encounter with a young and handsome Madoka, who turns out to be his wealthy uncle. Madoka offers him his home, and all Chihiro has to do is clean up after the messy, irresponsible man. The problem? The job requires a maid outfit. Coming in third place, we have Chio's School Road, with 12 episodes. Aired on July 2018, available on both sub and dub. Miyamo Chio is a first year student at the completely ordinary high school Samejima Academy. Chio just wants to get through her school life without standing out too much. But, for some reason, all kinds of obstacles await her along the path she takes to school. Her longtime friend, Nonomura Manana, who's trying to quit being an otaku. The flawless Hosokawa Yuki, who occupies the top cast in the school. And lots of nameless people are about town find themselves in Chio's path as she employs the useless techniques she's acquired from her western video games in her daily efforts to get to school. Coming up in fourth place, we have Encouragement of Climb with 49 episodes aired on January 2013, available only in subbed. Oi's childhood dream of climbing the tallest mountains in the world was destroyed when the girl fell off a jungle gym, developing a crippling fear of heights in the process. Now in high school, the teen enjoys more mundane activities like knitting and sitting quietly and has absolutely no interest in risking her life in the wilderness. But Oi's sheltered life is shattered with the reappearance of Hinata, her boisterous childhood friend who's determined to pull the girl out of her shell and scale some mountains. Together, the two learn about climbing gear and trying to face their fears, all the while becoming the best of friends. Coming up in fifth place, we have Altair, A Record of Battles, with 24 episodes, aired on July 2017, available only in sub. The clouds of war are gathering over Takire's stratocracy as the neighboring Bald Rhine Empire prepares to aggressively expand its power. 17-year-old Tugriel Mahmet is the youngest military leader in Takiri's history, and he sits on a council sharply divided between warmongers and pacifists. As an orphan who has already lost his entire village in a massacre, Mahmet is among those bidding for peace. But war is coming whether anyone wants it or not. Can Mahmet successfully build an alliance strong enough to defend his nation? Or will the tangled web of political intrigue give Bahat Rhine the advantage it needs to bring about the Tukiri stratocracy's downfall? Getting even farther back with the years, in sixth place we have Hikiro no Go with 75 episodes, aired on October 2011, available on both sub and dub. While examining an old Go board in his grandfather's basement, 12-year-old Shindo Hikaru is possessed by the restless spirit of Sai, 
an ancient Go master who has waited for over 1,000 years to play the hand of God, the perfect move. Sai convinces Hikiro to act as a vessel for making his moves, but it is soon clear that Hikiro also enjoys Go and wants to play his own games. Moreover, the rules of Go have changed since Sai's time, and Go players from all over the world are now much stronger, having had the benefit of hundreds of years of evolution and experimentation by the masters before them. Can this unlikely pair form a successful partnership and rise to the top of Japan's Go community? And can Sai finally play the hand of God and find some peace? Coming up in seventh place, we have The Dragon Dentist with two episodes. Aired on February 2017, available on both sub and dub. The story takes place in Dragon Country. Nanoko is a newly appointed dentist and her mission is to protect the dragon, the guardian of the country, from tooth cavity bacteria. One day, amid increasingly fierce battles with a neighboring country, Nanoko finds on the dragon's tooth an unconscious boy soldier from the enemy country. His name is Bell, and he has been resurrected from inside the tooth by the dragon, a supernatural phenomenon that legend says occurs before a major disaster. As Nanoko and Bell go through a series of fierce battles, they eventually learn to accept their fate. Coming up in 8th place, we have Momokuri, with 26 episodes, aired on December 2015, available only in sub. After taking 100 secret photos and observing him from afar for months, second year high schooler Yuki Kurihara has finally mustered up the courage to ask out her first year crush, Shinya Momo Momosuki. Although taken by surprise, the bashful Momo accepts. However, he does not know the profoundly abnormal truth. As her straight-laced friend, Norika Mizuyama, has observed, Yuki has developed some unnerving, but nonetheless sincere, habits, taking pictures of Momo in secret, doing extensive research into his personal life, collecting his used straws, and even going Momo watching. Coming up in ninth place, we have Oji-san in the Marshmallow, with 12 episodes. Aired on January 2016, available only in sub. Habuhiro Hige is a simple-minded older man who works an office job and is an enthusiast of tobacco marshmallows. His days often consist of being teased by his 24-year-old colleague, Lori Wakabayashi, who uses his obsession to her advantage, from eating them in front of his face, to buying out his favorite brand from the convenience store, and even embarrassing him in front of their boss. Although her friends cannot fathom what she sees in him, she just cannot get over his marshmallow-like fluffy frame. No matter the lengths it takes, Lori will find a way to get his attention. And finally, coming up in 10th place, The Thousand Noble Musketeers, with 12 episodes. Aired on July 2018, available only in sub. The Spare War is a battle between ancient guns and contemporary guns. Due to a nuclear war, the world was destroyed. Under the full governance of World Empire, people are living with their freedom taken. Despite the forbidden rule of owning any weapons, there is a resistance that secretly fights against the World Empire. They own ancient guns left as art and fight using these. Then, the Kajushi appear as the souls of the ancient guns. Proud and magnificent, the absolute royal are the only ones that can give hope to this world. The story depicts the everyday life of the Kijushi. Laughter, despair, happiness, confusion, pain. They would still pursue their own absolute loyalty to fight. What do they fight for? What should they protect? With the list being finished, I hope you enjoyed the video. That is all for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and needless to say, but I will always say it, turn on the notifications. Bye-bye.